job is to candy this uh, motorbike tank. So here's the before shot. I broke through a bit here, so I'm gonna shoot a coat of epoxy on. And then when that dries, we'll start. Uh, we'll, we'll start after that with uh, the base coat on all the rest of the parts as well. Okay. That's uh, two coats of uh, gold base, pretty much evenly covered. Actually, it covers really good. I was happy. Probably have to do nine coats of this, but it's fine. Uh, so we're gonna let it flash, uh, hit it, hit it one more time with this, and then onto the brown. Same here. Uh, two coats of gold base. Uh, just trying to get it even, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna put the candy brown on. This is how the fast people look on TV. Scotch laying down some brown candy on my 71 CD 750. Giddy is a schoolgirl on the video. You can edit that out, right? No. Oh, dang it. That's oh, not bad.
All right, it's a week later and we've got, uh, I don't know, six or eight coats of brown candy on the gold background here. It's been sitting around drying. I think now the, the next job is to hit this all with some thousand grit wet and get it masked up for the stripe. And then uh, we'll put stripe on and clear it some more and carry on after that. Okay, this is, uh, where are we at on this? Uh, we put the gold and we got about six or eight coats of brown on it, then two coats of clear. Sand all the clear with thousand wet. Wait a week, two weeks I guess it's been. Two weeks for it to shrink. And we're masking up the Honda stripe here. And that will be going back to gold. And then, uh, then we'll put some more clear. All right, everything is masked up and now Oh, I guess I didn't, everything is not masked up. I better mask that. All right, now it actually is masked. So these are going to be gold and uh, two coats of gold, and then we'll unmask it. Okay, that's two coats of gold for the stripes. And uh, now we're gonna let it dry for half an hour and mask it. Unmasking is more fun than masking. Why do I have a similar feeling to when I was in the uh, room waiting for my first son to be born. <laughs> this is way less gross though. This is less gross, marginally. And on the wrong side. Less gross but more expensive. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Says Scott as my son starts university this year. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Very little investment in the, yeah, the actual production. In the production. <laughs> Any number of things still go wrong here. Good thing we're optimists. Mm hmm Especially me. I get called that all you know, you're just such a upbeat guy. Three of us together probably couldn't make half an optimist. There's optimists and then there's people who have actually tried to do anything. Right. Being an optimist when you're trying to put a 25 coat candy job on something <laughs> is, a, is a bad idea. Stuff like this, when it turns out, you should be just absolutely fucking surprised as hell. Wow, I didn't think that was going to work. Yeah. Try it anyway, though. Yeah, that gold looks about right against the brown. Right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> People watching, though, they have no worries. <laughs> because... <laughs> 
<laughs> if I posted it, it turned out. Oh, good point. If it makes it to YouTube, it turned out. You don't mean the people watching you unmask this right now in the room. I know, those people. Because one of those people is... Those people have more to worry about than me. <laughs> I'm just going to give it back anyway. Yeah, yeah we tried. Get, Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really care. Yeah, nope. Carrie doesn't care. So, well, it's a bummer about your paint job, man. Yeah. Oh, well. That's too bad. I'm moving on with my life. Yeah. See you guys later. I'm coming back to work. I, on the other hand, will be looking for an extension cord. Good luck. <laughs> Fucking it, it in here. <laughs> Again, the pessimism. <laughs> Good luck with that, man. You're not going to find an extension cord in here. Everybody hit them on me years ago. <laughs> Did you notice he's wearing slip on shoes? Yeah, slip on shoes. <laughs> no belt. <laughs> We'll play this back in triple time. <laughs> People want to watch this for 15 minutes. Yeah. Why are they watching you guys pull tape off? It's fucking awesome. Really like what you've done with the thin blue pinstripe outlining mm -hmm. the gold. Mm -hmm. Nice touch. It's my signature move. for getting tape on and then clearing over it. Yeah. Signature move. Yeah, also a signature move. Having paint drip out of the gun in the center of the hood was my signature move for many years. <laughs> oh, that's a Scott, that's an original Scott, Scott Newstead, Newstead, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Big fucking drip in the center of the hood. Because that's where you fill the gun up and then you go, you always start. As soon as you tip the gun on the side. <laughs> Usually these rented <laughs> shitty guns when you're a kid. You know. Okay, let's try. One at a time or two at a time? So we have to do them the opposite order they went on. Okay, well, here goes nothing. This guy. These guys. Have some idea what we're up against. Very nice. Yeah, that's fine, right? Okay, bottom one first here. Oh, too fast in it. Makes it hard to walk. Okay, tack it and clear it. Right on. Uh, that's uh, more or less exactly what we want, really. Right? 
everything looks fine. I don't have any gold, don't have any runs or dirt or... The thing is, whatever edge is there is going to get sanded and polished anyway. So we're not even really trying to make the clear look that great. We just want to get it on there, give ourselves something to work with later. How many folks are clear over this? Just two. Just two. two. Yeah, wow, that's good. These will need. It's gonna have to be white. Everything here is fine. Okay, it's classic tire time again. This time a flying air wing 670 15 that we're going to do up for our 50 Chev fleet line. That is a sweet pea. That is the original wheel from the Chev. No, it's not. Uh, I don't know what this wheel is. We're going to put this uh, tire on our Chev wheel. So I uh, just want to have a quick. This is the kind of the before shot. She's not a real sweetie. So, hmm. Yeah, still several plies. Of the original four, probably at least one still intact. Okay, well, a, a nice tire. Let's have, uh, let's get her cleaned up and see if we don't die. That's a sweet pea. Hey, Frankers. nice scallops along the outside edge of the tire. An interesting little A with wings. That is a nice piece there. I don't know if we have any more of these. This might be the only... I don't know. How many, how many flying air wings do you think have survived? It's time to put that on. You More Datsuns. Holy. I took all the interior aluminum trim out. I put the cover in with an SLS cap. Very nice. Wait, you fucking glued it to the floor? No, but they stapled it. They made stapled it like We have clearance. Okay, we gotta get that guy off of there. Hey, name the inappropriate hubcap time. Hey, get a close up for the folks. It's cheating if they get too close. Well, I know what it is. Yeah, right? This, this tire is completely inappropriate. So this whole assembly has to go. And it has to go, it has to go. Oh, oh you got to be kidding me. Ouch. Forgot about that. Yeah, you sure did. <laughs> is that, is that S10? It is, sir. Oh, yeah. It's got to be. Well, I have to say, that was a surprise. What do we got going on here? Well, I'll check out that, check out that front wheel. Wow. I don't know. Ooh. It's pretty shameful. Yeah. I can't believe that's on the lot. Well, I think I seen Scott put that on there. Is that, is that yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> Who's in? Who's got steel toes? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, easy. Oh yeah. It made a noise. She's coming. Okay. Oh yeah. You're done? Yeah. It's over. Check the fight is over. <laughs> Where you want your shame radial? Put it in the shame shed. <laughs> Which one? Now <laughs> oh, here we go. This is this is what Cold War Motors is all about. <laughs> yeah. Which is actually not really something to be proud of. Unless you like this kind so of. What thing. is your guys' show about? Yeah. Well, you know, getting shitty old tires and putting them on cars that don't run. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll take off a shitty old tire and just put a shittier, older tire on. Supervisor. Oh, yeah. oh, the crow. Yeah. It's our pet crow. Oh, hubcap. I want to check something out before you put that hubcap on there. <laughs> 
Stem at the top, Ooh, centered top perfectly. Oh my goodness. Top cap thus. What a great day. Right? Yeah. Okay, you want me to put the mirror or the carpet underneath first? <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, much oh, better. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a pretty fine unit. It is a fine unit. I love the pinstripe. Yeah, this, is what they do the at, this is what they off. do at Pebble Beach right before the show. Yeah. Hey, right. send one of the kids out there with a broom to sweep the fucking junkers off. <laughs> oh no, uh, that's awesome. It needs to be done. We did some of the engine bay even because it was so bad. All, all of this. This was all just packed. That's the detailing brush. Now we need the, this, is, this is what qualifies for detailing. <laughs> number 10 horse hair. Those fancy microfiber mops. They do all the rough work with one of these. That's right. Hey, how's the oldest sauna for Oh no, it's holding together. <laughs> a bird <laughs> shit on it, but I like that yeah. my brush got it. The wife bangs it up a bit, but you know. <laughs> what are you going to do? MBS. I feel like indexing that other tire, that other wheel. I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Tire, it's up to you. Is that a good used tire? It looks a little soft. Well, it might need two or three pounds more. Are you actually going to do that? We have no choice. Oh, might as well. Well, somebody started it, and I don't think it was me. I guess, so, hey, we, we are not barbarians. <laughs> well, we cannot do it. No, let's go. Oh, look at the valve stem. Somebody thought ahead. Sure, right? Might have been a little quick going down for that That's old That's right, easy there. <laughs> That's a sweet old girl. Beer time, gentlemen. That is, uh, there we go, that's 16 coats of paint, no problem. So now we're gonna let it dry for a week and then sand it again, and then we'll polish it. So that is a root beer candy with a gold stripe. There's the seat. Same process on the seat. Everything will be getting sanded and polished now. Okay, it's a week later and we just let everything dry and they've been sitting around so we're just gonna uh, wipe the dust off and then we'll have a look and we'll uh, start the wet sanding. There we are sanded uh, with 2000 grit wet paper. Uh, not really much to uh, 
talk about there. Ditto here, sanded, sanded. And now we will start with the polishing. And uh, really not uh, so far so good. Oh wow, look at that, hey? <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Hey, Doggo. <laughs> That is uh, not too shabby, I would say. Flip mm -hmm. it down so we can see the top. That's really fucking shiny. Yeah, hard to really appreciate the color, but uh, at least we can see that that's pretty presentable. Oh, can we see the color? Sure. Yeah, it looks actually pretty good. Pretty, uh, pretty nice. So once that's buffed up, it'll be good. We got it a lot lighter in the middle, which we wanted, darker yeah. on the edges. Nice, we can put that together now. That one can go with whatever. Frankers! How's it going, Frankers? You having fun today? Frankers, no. say something funny. I ran it for 10 minutes on the bench. And... All right, well that's it. That's the last of it. Let's have a look at these guys. He's on his way down and you run past it. Well, I think we're going to just call it there and then. That's, uh, right, that was a certain amount yeah, of work, eh? Let's just give up on it and call it there. Yeah, just walk away before it gets any worse. There, well, other than the final uh, installation and waxing, that's pretty much her. Okay, let's put that together. Can't wait to see the finished machine. Is a regular. Ah. Same old shit.